In this session, I'm going to briefly cover a little bit about pivot tables. Pivot tables are just tools, another way or another tool in Excel, and it is under the Insert tab here, that allows you to look at the data from various angles and various points of view. For example, you can look as to how the sales are going for a specific product, for a specific customer, from a specific salesperson, for a specific region, and analyze it, getting the totals, the sums, and the various financial calculations there, or arithmetic calculations as well. So there are a couple things that you need to keep in mind as far as the pivot tables. The pivot tables, the field names, and the column headers must be on the first row. So you see here you have these headings here. So that's one criteria. The records must be in rows. So you can't have them a different way, you know, like having these labels here on the left and then the data on the right of these columns. The other one is that it should you shouldn't have any blank columns, rows, or field names. So we want to have no blanks in the data set. And then the data must be surrounded by blank columns and rows and or Excel worksheet columns or row headers. So basically you just have some empty space around it. So all right, so in this case, this is our data. Now, what you do is with this data, you go under the insert tab, and then you can either insert an, a pivot table. So basically, it's to easily arrange and summarize complex data in a th pivot table. So in this case, you could either click to design your own table, or you can click on recommended tables based on the data that Microsoft determines or can identify in this table. It will recommend certain table. Let me select it first. Usually you don't have to select it, but just to be sure that it doesn't interfere with other stuff. Okay, notice it's about 2,000 records here. And now we click on recommended pivot tables. And notice you have different types of, of sorting of the information or the, the pivot table here. So, or pre-designed. So basically it's doing them by here by region and then the sum here or you could go and pick another one by region or you could have another one by uh, different sales people and the sum of their sales and the cost of goods and all that type of stuff with a grand total in the end and uh, so you basically just pick and choose here you have the different companies and the amounts that they purchased and so on so this is really what's valuable in the new version of Excel 2013, these predefined, like in the previous versions, you have to go and design it yourself. Here you can just pick one of those designs, click OK, and notice at this point, it has basically opened a new sheet here for us with the salespeople and the amounts. Now, if you wanted to add more stuff to this pivot table, you can simply choose, let's say, customer here, and notice for Chin, it's going to list also the customer, or for Jerry as well, the customers. Now, if I want it also the region, it's going to subdivide them by region as well. So notice it's building this on the fly. Let me check region. Let me go to date. So it puts also the dates here. So you have the salesperson, the company, and then the date for each sale. Now we could also go here and specify different filters if we want it, or we can choose more tables to be included in there. Under columns, you could remove fields, you could add more fields in there. The idea here is that you can tinker with this in a variety of ways by either adding components, looking at it different ways. And so let's say I get the sales rep out of there. Now we have it by date. But then I want to have, let's say, so it's customer and so on. But then I want to see only the products. And then I want to filter them by date and the customer. So now under date here, so this is a filter option. I could go and choose only for a specific day what was sold. Or I could go and choose multiple days or multiple criterias. 
So here's another way before I end this by having them having them by region here. And notice I had them filtered. I'm going to choose all of them to show all of them. So now we have by region, by amount, and so on. We could get rid of the amount thingy there. And we could have, let's say, products. So we want region, product, and let's say, let's say we want next region, we want the sales rep. Notice we have Midwest, Chin, and then so on. You can see how easy it is to manipulate the data and look at it from all kinds of different ways.